What's up, World 2 family? It's Abraham here again, and in today's video, we're gonna put my skills to the test. I'm gonna be welding out this six inch Schedule 80 pipe with TIG. After it, we're gonna take it to the Ocean Corporation to get it 100% x rayed. I'm not really too worried about it, but I wanna see if I still got it. <laughs> I started welding this pipe. I'm running about a, a hundred amps, or I am running a hundred amps. I'm using a Miller Dynasty. I have about a 316 gap right now. So I started with a, uh, a tack at 6 o'clock and at 12 o'clock, and I put a bridge tack on the opposite side of where I started. And I left the side that I started wide open so I can just go all the way up. I am using 70S6 for my filler metal. And I am freehanding the root pass. This my I like to dip. When I'm gonna connect to my tie-in, I always dip. I always use a tip dip method. Alright guys, so um I get this question a lot by my students. Uh, they always ask me, how do you not burn your fingers? You know, and uh, the reason I don't is because when I hold my torch, my gloves right here, I actually fold my gloves over the tip of my tip fingers and it provides double protection. And I just rest my, and I, and I rest my hand like that. See that? You see all of this right here? Right here, the leather is really hard. It gets hard like that because of, you know, the heat. And I really don't feel the heat as I'm going up. I'm just on the tip of my fingers, freehanding it. See that? Right there, like that. And it's, it's actually, I can actually slide this like this, you know. And that's the way I keep my fingers from not burning most of the time. A tungsten connected to your puddle at all times. There are times where it does disconnect and that is okay. So as long as you connect your rod back to the puddle as soon as possible. Having your rod connected to the puddle maintains that puddle up and it keeps it from not falling. Like I said, you just want to make sure that you keep that rod in the puddle so that you don't get stuck back. And that you're constantly feeding the puddle. When you're filling up a pipe, kind of want to estimate when you're going to start splitting your beads. Because right now I'm putting nothing but weeds. So I did a root, a hot, and I think I did two more. I'm going to do two more weaves, which I'm already on my last weave on this one. And then I'm going to start splitting it, meaning I'm going to put two beads in the group. All right guys, well there you have it. 16 schedule 80, take all the way out. I'm about to take it to Ocean Corporation so I can get 100% x-ray. Um, I'm tired, it's hot. I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go. All right guys, I'm here at the Ocean Corporation in Houston, Texas. I'm getting ready to put my skills to the test. I'm here to x-ray this pipe. I'm kind of nervous. Haven't, haven't had none of my stuff x-rayed in a while. See what I got. Hey, I'm here to see Richard. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Let me get him for you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Richard. Again, huh? How's it going? Yeah, I'm back again. What you got today? Uh, I got this pipe I wanted, and um, I want to get it X-ray. Get it tested. See yeah. how you did, huh? Yeah, I'm putting my skills to the test. All right, well, let's go see how you did. Get it tested. You welded did. that? Yes, sir. I don't know. <laughs> we'll we'll x-ray it. We'll see what's going on inside. Yeah, it's my favorite type of welding. I've oh, been no. doing it for about six years. Yeah, well, I think that's probably enough for it. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's this up, is man? Abraham. Hey, He's got a uh, nice to meet you, Mike. piece of pipe he welded. Wanted to know if you could test it and see how he did on his weld. 
Alright, on the so, x-ray? Yeah, I'm on the x-ray. Alright, sounds yes, good. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So, uh, what can you tell us about uh, x-ray? Um, Where is it used, typically? Uh, pipelines, pipeline. uh, chemical plants, refineries. It's used everywhere, people just don't know it. It's yeah, around. Okay. And so, how's the uh, x-ray work? Oh, it's just like it's penetrating radiation. Office, it's something <laughs> like a doctor's office, but it's a little different because it's industrial. Mm -hmm. So we do it right. out in the field, and okay. uh, it just penetrates this and show you what's inside of it. So you That's use it. like what do you film, use? And, or how does what's kind of the process? How does uh, we use a piece of film inside of a cassette with some lead and some everything. Yeah. Everything show shows much, up on the X-ray. Pretty much everything. Everything. So if I put it here, yes. I'm gonna look at this portion of the well here. And everything that's in here is going to show up, inside right. and outside. All right. So we're going to use some lead numbers here to show where it is at on the well that we are actually X-raying. Pretty quick process, pretty simple. And I use these lead numbers to show exactly where it's good or bad at. So those lead numbers right there mark, mark your film? Uh-huh, they're location markers. So they're location marks. For the location that my film is in. All right. Why do you use lead numbers? Um, because the radiation won't pass through it. Okay. Sort of, kind of. It'll show up real good about where it is. So I'm going to mark it here. Get my guy to come out here with a marker. So I know where I'm at. And I'm going to use an IQI. This is for the image quality. And when I'm all finished, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looked like. Let's hope you was having a good day. Here I got film. And since this is radiation, I got monitors and things on to monitor how much radiation I'm receiving. All right, so I'm going to push some radiation through this tube. I'm going to push it out like so with some crank handles. I'm going to push it out, and the radiation is going to be on top of here. And it's going to penetrate through this portion and show me this portion here, and that's pretty much it. And this is a piece of film here. This is a cassette. Inside of here is a piece of film, just like your regular everyday picture, red room, like you see on the movies and everything. It's the same thing. I'm going to take it inside that box over there. And I'm going to put it inside some water, some chemicals, and I'm going to come out and show you everything that's good or bad with the well. <laughs> All right, so I can't let you get the camera on there, so, well, the radiation box, so we're going to have to, okay. you're gonna have to move out for that portion. Hey, Miss Jean. Hi. Hello. This is Abraham. Hi. And Hi, Dad. He brought a part okay. over to get x-rayed. And so we wanted to ask you some questions about x-raying welds. Sure. All right. Let's sit down. We'll have a few questions for you. Okay. So um, first off, how about um, x-ray? What is x-ray as far as in regards to x-raying welds? Well, the thing is, we're so used to saying x-ray. X-ray actually just den denotes using an x-ray tube, an x-ray machine. Right. Whereas where we go out on pipelines and, and vessels and, and rail cars, we use gamma ray. Gamma rays. Gamma ray, because it's more portable. Right. And, um, but everybody is so used to saying, oh, okay, I need an x-ray crew. Yeah. So we have to ask him, okay, well, what do you have? So I know what to send out. Right. right. So okay. how does it work? If well, we have a, let's say he's got a, a pipe that he's welded and he wants to get it tested. Okay. The process. What he's going to do is he's going to bring it to us. He's looking for, uh, first I'm going to ask him what's the welding process. Give me an idea of what indications I may be looking for. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to uh, radiograph it. Okay. And I want to see the volumetric, uh, the inside of the, what's inside this weld. Right. Okay, because I can see the OD and I can see the ID, right. but I can't see the inside. Right. So that's what the RT does, or the X-ray does. It lets me see the inside of it. And if we have such a slag or something, then 
we can see it there. Now, just because I have slag in there does not mean it's rejectable. It's going to depend on the code. Okay. Okay. You can have an indication in there, but the uh, it, the code is what makes it a, a defect. Why are most of the uh, X-rays taken at? Uh, usually at the cu customer shop, uh, mm -hmm. fabrication shops. Uh, I've done helicopters. Um, in the field. In the field. In but the field. Yeah. We go out to the field. Now, there's some companies that do have in-house lab, in-house x-ray, but we do the majority of our work out in the field. So you would go out to a pipeline, and as they're building the pipeline, x-ray the welds? Yeah. Or offshore on an oil platform? We go on an oil platform. they're putting stuff together out there, mm -hmm. x-raying things? Yeah, we uh, have to go offshore. Sometimes we're out there two weeks. Sometimes we're only out there for a couple days and they'll bring us in and out to shoot what's going to be uh, laid down on the ground. Impressive. Yeah. Can you use uh, RT on any kind of metal, on any kind of welding process? Yes, you can use RT on anything. It's the result that's important. Uh, I had a customer that was going to California and to do plastic pipe. Plastic pipe is not something we normally do. Right. But I did tell him, I'd say, oh, I'll, I can shoot it. I can shoot, we can shoot anything but it's the result, it's what you need, okay? Get ready to see this film. All right, I got it ready for you. Got it ready for me? All right, all right. Just pulled it out of the water for you. Okay, okay, That's okay. That's what it looks like when it's first done. These new chemicals I was telling you about. Since I'm a level two, I can tell you good or bad. Okay, okay. We just glancing at the film right now because I can't grade it wet. Right. We're just gonna take a good look at it and see what's wrong with it. Okay, so here we go. This is one to two. This is the first shot. Look pretty good. It. Two to three. Two to three. Still looks pretty good, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oof. And three to one. Okay. Pretty good to me. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it inside this hot box here. I got some other film in there already. And I'm gonna let it dry for 15, 20 minutes and I'll be able to give you a final interpretation. So what is this room right here? This is a dark room. This is my little personal space. I got an AC in here and I got some stinky chemicals and I got a viewing light here. It's a little banged up because I really use it. So it's a viewing light here for viewing purposes so I can see everything that I need to see on a piece of film. I got my tanks here. Chemicals? Yeah, chemicals. Um, developer, stop bath, fix, rinse. It's just like a red room, like I said earlier, just like you see them on the movies with the little shallow water. But mine is not shallow because my film is this long. So the film you go one by one, dip, 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 yes, sir. dip. So we go here a certain amount of time, here a certain amount of time, here a certain amount of time. And then I rinse it out and I put it inside the dryer here. Okay. The cassette that you seen earlier. Yeah. So inside, I put a piece of film in between this lead here. This is lead right here. Uh-huh. And this is a piece of film. That's how it's done. Put it there. Close it down like that. Close this one down. Boom. Put this here. Tape it. Now it's ready. And this is what you tape, tape around the pipe. Uh-huh. And this is what I put around the pipe, like so. And the radiation passes through the metal. Goes on to this piece of film here. This film sucks up the radiation. And while it's sucking it up, it show you well, good or bad. See class I was at, every damn one of them knew who you guys were. Oh, really? Oh, yeah? I, they said, who's out there? I said, I don't know, some welding company. I'll bet. I said, we're putting something for you two. I know who that is. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. That speaks That's cool. highly if you, if you think about it. Yeah, it does. Uh, pretty humbling. All right, so now we're ready to grade. It's dry, it's ready. I can interpret correctly. All right. So we got one to two. And it looked pretty good to me. What are you 
sing in there. It's looking damn good in here. Does it? Look damn good to me. We should look that good where I was. Yeah. <laughs> My confidence went from here to here now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're on two to three. This is the next portion. Uh huh. See anything? I don't see nothing. You see anything on that mic? Nothing. I have to take your word for it. I can't. I can't see back here. Nothing. Nothing. I see a heavy pass on the first one, but that's it. That's what. Well, that's what I saw ultrasonically. Uh -huh. was a little heavy like, pass. Yeah. 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 That's the only thing I've seen. That don't count. Other than that, everything is good. Okay. Damn good to me. So yeah. this is this is my root right here. This little shadow right here. Yes, sir. In the middle. In the middle, that's my root right here. Yes, it is. Yes, in the middle. And then I see these two lines out here. That's your filler passes. And that's, those are my filler passes. Okay. Yes, sir. So if an indication was in in the root, uh, would it be more towards the center? Yep. If it was in the root, it'd be smack dab in the center here. Smack dab in the center. Yes. So as the indication gets farther out, it's it. That's how you know it's farther up in the in the fillers. Yes, if, well, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes. I can't correctly tell you depth with yeah. x-ray. Okay. I can tell you it's here. Right. And I can tell you where it's at here. Okay. But I can't correctly tell yeah. you depth. And Not would, with this. Then actually. it would be up to me just to dig into it and find dig it. Dig into it, grind into it. Yeah. And, and figure it out and make sure it look good. Right, right. Cool, cool. But it looked good to me. All right, guys. Well, there I have it. Pass my x-rays. Y'all know y'all in good hands. If y'all come to South Coast Water Academy, I'd like to thank the Ocean Corporation in Houston, Texas for allowing me to be here and x-raying my pipe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.